Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to this card making project. In this project, we're going to make a gorgeous pink and peach card using lots of Anna Griffin goodies. But it's a really simple, quick card. Probably only my chatter that prolongs it. So I do hope you like this one because I think it's a really sweet idea. So the card base that I'm going to be working with is a 7 by 5 inch card base. My favourite size. I make no secret of that. I just find it's the right real estate area, as they say, for having fun with. And that's what it's all about. So that's how it looks on our cardometer. The A4 is the largest size. A5, the next size down. Or in other countries, some of them, that's A3 size. And then we hit the 7x5 and that's our size so well, as always we're going to just take our bone folder and run along the edge to make sure we've got a good sharp crease and make it look nice and professional so the inside of this card is just I think so pretty absolutely so pretty and when you see how easy it is, you'll be like, oh, I've got to do that, because that is easy. So the first thing I've done is I've taken one of Anna's lovely layers, and it's one of the prettiest designs, I think. And I've cut out an aperture from the centre of this, and I've put it to one side to use on another project, because I don't really need it on this. So I've cut out an aperture, and I'll be honest, um, I've used the Spellbinders rectangle dies because they just work so well with these projects, just as a basic matte and layering die. So I've used Spellbinders B for the size of this, and then I've gone down a few and then picked another one to cut the aperture. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the tape away and add this to my card. Everything I do use will be in the detailed description box on my blog underneath the project. So you'll get to know all the Anna items that I've used and any extras that I've used with any of the projects. So that's our first layer. Now the next thing I've done is I've cut out this rectangle on ivory card and I've also put it through my Xyron machine and on the rectangle I've actually stamped using one of Anna's clear birthday stamps make a wish and I'm simply going to pop the rectangle into the rectangle that we've cut so it fits in nicely, there's no extra layer, it just sits in the aperture there. And then, I've been kind of naughty, I've taken one of Anna's favourite flowers, from the favourite flower, favourite flower sticker set, and I've peeled the back of it away, because they're all 3D flowers. So I've peeled the back of it away, and I've taken the front section, and I've run it through the Xyron machine and I am now hoping I can pull that off and then that will sit nicely just at the side of our sentiment like that and that is our insert finished Still enough room for your to and fro, not enough mess, um, room for an essay or a full length letter. But I think if you're sending a card like this, you're just going to sort of say, All my love, Anne Marie. Our best wishes to Margaret, you know, lots of love, Anne Marie. So that's the inside. Folds up still, no problem, there's no bulk on it, but it's so pretty just going to use my bone folder again now we're going to turn our attention to the outside of the card so this is one of the 
uh, one of them, sorry, forgetting who I am and where I am. This is from the Perfect Palette range and I've cut it to size to fit the outside of the card like so as a base layer with double sided tape on the back of it and then my next layer is from the lovely layers it's the same as we had for the inside and I'm simply going to add this on top of the peach layer now I could have been economical with the peach layer but I decided on this occasion I wouldn't be I'm quite frivolous because I've left the centre in and I'm covering it over so we'll add our lovely layer now they come in the 7 by 5 inches the lovely layers and I've trimmed that just so it sits nicely on our base layer the next thing I've got one of my favourite dies from the All Heart layer um, die set from Anna I've cut it out in a pink even though with peach and pink on the back it's all about mixing our colours on this one pink, pinks and peaches so I've die cut it out of a pink metallic card and yes I've got tape where you can see it because you won't see it when we're finished so I just need to peel my tape away and it's just in the two corners like that and I'm going to position it through the centre of the card like so there we go so you can see the tapes at those two sides so the next thing I'm going to do is I need to cover the tape so I've gone back to my favourite flowers and these are all stickers so all you have to do is peel the centre of the, uh, the back of them away so I'm going to position one lot of peach roses at one side and then one selection of roses at the other side and they sit nicely over the tape that I've used on the lattice. Um, let's see if we can just lift that one up a little bit. There we go. So we've got our roses at either side. And then I've taken a sentiment from Anna's favourite sentiments. Um, Actually, I think it's the birthday stickers. I'm going to double check on that for you. And instead of using it as a sticker, I've put double sided foam on the back of it. And I'm simply going to position that there underneath the roses. And I'm going to finish the card off with a gorgeous little peach bow just at the side. And that it's just such a pretty card easy and quick gorgeous on the inside gorgeous on the outside stands up nicely you're not going to need any special um, packaging I wouldn't have thought it will go in a normal envelope the only extra padding you've got is from the sentiment here so if you didn't want to put as much on, you don't have to. And it's just such a pretty card. You could adapt it for a Get Well card, a Thinking of You card, any number of cards. But I do think there's something about the insert of this one that is so, just so pretty. So I'd like to say thank you for watching. I love seeing your projects. I love hearing from you. You can always contact me on my blog you can always find me on facebook um you know please get in touch say hello even if you've got nothing to say just say hello and check out all the other projects there's so many of them now there must there's oh there's over 300 so there's something for everybody 
So thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it very much. And I shall see you next time.